So, you want to install Stable Diffusion locally without any filters. Not a problem. For the record, this tutorial is only possible because a dedicated member of the Patron Support Squad really wanted you guys to have this video. And he volunteered to spend hours of his free time walking me through the whole process on Discord. So shoutouts to Penguin Dragon if you like this video. Personally, I'm running an NVIDIA graphics card, so it might be different if you have an AMD setup. But generally, you'll want to create an account on GitHub. Then you'll want to create an account on Hugging Face. Yeah, like the alien. Both websites are totally free. Next, you have to download a few programs. First, if you're on Windows, go to getforwindows.org and hit download. It'll take a few seconds, then go to your downloads, double click, install, agree to the policy, you probably don't want Windows Explorer, and just say yes to everything with all recommended settings. It will install, and when it's done, just launch it. At this point, you should go to your C drive, right click, create a new folder called AI, right click on the new folder, copy, go to your git program, and type CD space, right click, paste the address you copied, enter, then you'll need to get the link for the web UI from the description. Click the green button and this button to copy the link. Then go back to git bash, type git space clone space and right click to paste the link. Press enter, it'll take a few seconds and then be done. Then follow the other link in the description and go to hugging face and download the latest version of stable diffusion, which at the moment I believe is 1.4. Scroll down, accept the terms, access and download the CKTP file. This file is kind of big. It took me like 20 minutes to download. While that's downloading, you should follow the other link in the description and download the GIF Began Face Restoration add-on, which will super help you when you're making characters. Scroll down a bit, get to V14 model, and while that's downloading, you'll need to download Python. The version that worked for me was 3.10.6. Scroll down to the bottom and get the version for your machine, mine is 64-bit. Once it's done downloading, double-click the installer, add Python, install now, and while that is happening, go to the folder you just created and and inside the stable diffusion folder, drag the GIF GAN face restoration file over here. Then inside models stable diffusion, drag the CKTP file over here. And by now Python should have finished installing. So from the main file, go down here, double click the main web UI user batch file, and it'll start installing a bunch of things. Like a lot of things. Like it's probably going to take 20 to 40 minutes. Now, if you ever find yourself waiting more than an hour and you don't see the screen change, Penguin Dragon and I figured out that if you click anywhere in the black screen, it will usually pause the download without you noticing. So basically, if you don't see any change after an hour, just press enter and it will usually start to finish its thing. Anyway, eventually it'll tell you all this and you'll see a URL here. Copy it, go to whatever browser you want, Paste it, and you're done. If you saw my last video, you'll recognize a lot of settings from the Stable Diffusion website, image width, height, sample size, and a bunch of new options that they don't have on the site. You type in your prompt, click generate whenever you're ready, and at any point, if you want to abort a generation, just click the generate button again. Once the images show up, you can save them right here, and if you ever want to see where your saved images are, you can find them under outputs and images. You can always check the status of your generations in the command prompt over here. And one last thing, if you don't have a particular powerful computer you might run into some problems and I've been told that a way you can resolve this is by right clicking the batch file edit and enter this piece of code right here save and then try again by double clicking to run the software anyway hope that helps and as always hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around